Good morning. What are you guys talking about? What is it that you're passing The cross. Around? Oh, the cross. Cool. You guys have a little cross necklace that you're passing around. That's neat. Do you know that that's exactly what you're supposed to do with those? When you have a, one of those cross necklaces that, that I often hand out to you guys, you're supposed to wear them for a little bit, and then you're supposed to give them to somebody. So you guys are doing just as I asked. How wonderful of you. Um, Daddy has one too. Great. Great. So I wanted to ask you guys a question this morning. What do you do... When you're scared. When you're scared. Think about, think about a time where you might be scared in life. Whether something startles you. Or whether you, whether you hear a noise. So, okay, you ask for light. So you're thinking about maybe if it's in the dark or something. And you're scared. You say, somebody turn on the lights. Right? Good. Wesley, did you have one? Oh, you, so you pray to Jesus when you feel scared or afraid? Good. Yeah, that's a good answer, bud. Like Annabella, what do you do when you're scared? What do, when you're startled by something or afraid of something? What do you do? Get my night light on. You get your night light on. That's a good one, too. I had a night light on. Do many of you guys have night lights? Little lights in your room? I have one. You have one, too, Oliver? I Great. Need, so I need a light. <laughs> I'll be silly with it, please. Okay, you still go to sleep. Great. Anybody else? What do you guys do when you, when you feel scared? Does anybody ever scream when they feel scared? They go, ah! Some people do that. Okay. Yeah. You maybe scream when you get scared. You say, daddy, mommy. Yeah, right. I know that some of you guys do that. Can I tell you what I used to do when I used to get scared? Actually, I'll show you. When I used to get scared, when I was a little kid, no, I didn't cuddle with it. I used to do this. And I would hide underneath my blanket because I was scared of something. But... Yeah, you snuggle with your teddy bear? Yeah. You, but you know what I realized after a while? Take that, take off that blanket! <laughs> you know what I realized after a while? Is this, is this a very good protection? If I'm scared of something, if I'm scared of something, is this a very good protection? No. Like, say I need protection for something. If I go, uh, I That doesn't really... Exactly, they can see my shoes. This doesn't protect me from anything. This doesn't do anything at all, actually. It maybe keeps me warm at night. Okay, and it's nice to snuggle with. And if I need some comfort, I might put my head up, but it doesn't protect me. It doesn't protect me. Jack, listen. Raise hands, please. Wesley, yes. Yeah, sometimes you hide underneath a blanket. Did, have any of you guys ever done that before? Where if you're scared of something, you hide underneath a blanket? Yeah. yeah. I did that before. Okay, okay. So here's the, here's the point, though, guys. Obviously, that struck a chord with you guys, okay? Let's wait for a second, okay? Let's wait for a second. So the, the issue with a blanket is that it doesn't provide very good protection, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't keep us safe. All right? It might keep us warm. It might keep us cozy. But it doesn't keep us safe. Okay? You know what uh, does keep us safe? What the Bible tells us does keep us safe? Running from... I scream very loud. I sc oh, you scream very loud. <laughs> yeah. Scre but, yeah, so crying out. So the Bible says crying out to God that He is our refuge and our strength. Can you guys say that with me? God is our refuge and our strength. Ready? Try it. God is our refuge and strength. Try again. Ready? God is our refuge and strength. God is not like a flimsy blanket. Okay? But He is our protector. He's like a big rock wall or like a shield that keeps us safe in life. 
Sure, sure. Or, or like a big dragon who protects us. From yeah. So I'm going to tell a story to you guys when, when I start the sermon, okay? I'm going to tell you about a time when I'm a, I was afraid. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about a time when I was afraid and what I did. But what I want you guys to remember is that God is your refuge and strength. And if you're ever scared, if you're ever afraid, that you can call upon him. And he says that he will protect us and guard us Lacey. and keep us safe. Lacey. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, did you want to share a little story? Um, so, so um, one time my dad was teaching and he was teaching and mm. and. Under the That's cover. right. He under the covers. That's right. That's right. So, guys, let's. <laughs> well, see, we're going to pray now, okay? We're going to pray to God, who's our refuge and strength, okay? Let's pray, guys. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our refuge and our strength. Lord, we pray that we would not fear because we're confident that you keep us safe in all things in life. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, you can head back to your seats as we sing our song together.